Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook, desperately wants you to believe that it is going to put the future on your face. That was the gist of Mark Zuckerberg's hour and a half announcement that the largest social media company in history was officially rebranding and reorienting itself to focus on the metaverse. The news was jarring, but hardly surprising. For Facebook, 2021 has been the year of trying to make the metaverse happen. First, there was the splashy announcement in The Verge, courtesy of Zuckerberg himself, that Facebook would no longer be a social media company. Instead, it would transition into a metaverse company. In Zuckerberg's words, this means building out an embodied internet, where instead of just viewing content, you are in it. In short order, Zuck dropped by a CBS morning show to demonstrate Horizon workrooms where users would be embodied in sub-sims quality avatars, not just viewing a dull virtual conference room, but in it. Then Facebook launched its partnership with Ray-Ban to sell a pair of privacy-challenged augmented reality sunglasses. Then came the news that Facebook was hiring 10,000 people in Europe to work on building the metaverse. Then, finally, word came last week that Facebook would rebrand itself with a moniker that reflects its nefangled metaverse aspirations. That name, we now know, is Meta. And neither is it clear who would want to spend their time there. There is not a single person in existence who has scanned Facebook's news feed and said, yes, immerse me in this reality. I want to feel my uncle's meme about hot pockets on my face. But the metaverse could generate enough momentum, enough knock on interest, that it could bring this clumsy fantasy framework clattering to life. Which is exactly why this half real big tech led effort to erect the metaverse is worth both laughing down and taking seriously. By the way, is there a hidden message in Facebook's new name? Like most of you, I was quite surprised to learn that Facebook is going to be called Meta from now on. As one of the biggest corporations in the entire world, this is not something to be done lightly. I am sure that much deliberation, research, and market testing went into that decision. So, either a colossal mistake was made, or Facebook chose a name with a very particular Hebrew meaning on purpose. According to the Jerusalem Post, Facebook's new name actually means debt in Hebrew. The name in question, in Hebrew, is the conjugation of the feminine form for dead, in both present and past tenses, leading many social media users who speak the language to ridicule the rebrand, leading to the hashtag Facebook dead. The Israeli Emergency Rescue Unit, Zaka, whose job is to collect human remains to ensure proper burials, shared their take on the rebrand last week, tweeting, Don't worry, we're on it. Hashtag Facebook dead in Hebrew. If a giant corporation is evaluating a new name for the company, one of the very first things that should be done is to translate it into every major language on the world to see what it might mean. So, I have a hard time believing that this was just an accident. And Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg certainly has no excuses because he was actually raised in the Jewish faith. Zuckerberg, who was raised as a Reformed Jew, made no response to the online ridicule. Needless to say, a lot of Jewish people had a lot of fun with the announcement of this new name on social media. But is there something deeper going on here? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Facebook just chose a new name that means dead in Hebrew, right before Halloween, which is a global celebration of death. That seems like a really odd coincidence to me. Either intentionally or unintentionally, could it be possible that this name change is foreshadowing something? This year, we have certainly seen a lot of death. The number of excess deaths is way way up all over the world, and this has greatly alarmed many of us. If you want an example, just check out this chart for the state of Vermont. People have been dying at an extremely unusual rate, and I believe that we will see much more death in the months ahead. But, is the Facebook name change pointing to something even more significant? 
we have been warned that another pandemic is coming for a long time. Earlier this year, Bill Gates was openly speculating about the pandemic that is going to come after CV-19 during television interviews, and that definitely raised a lot of eyebrows. Without a doubt, I believe that our world is headed toward a time of great death and destruction, and the fact that this Facebook name change was revealed to the public just before Halloween definitely got my attention. According to Wiccan high priestess Doreen Valiente, the modern celebration of Halloween comes directly from the ancient pagan festival of Samhain. Halloween is one of the four great sabbats of the witches that everyone has heard about. To witches, Halloween is a serious occasion, however merrily celebrated. It is the old Celtic Eve of Samhain. If you look at a Wiccan wheel of the year, you will see that Samhain is one of their most important high holy days. And it is very important to Satanists as well. The founder of the Church of Satan, Anton Levy, once made the following statement about Halloween. I am glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Welcome to Halloween. A lot of people think that Halloween is just innocent fun, but many of the elements can be traced all the way back to ancient spiritual rituals, According to the History Channel, ancient druids would dress up in costumes when it was time to offer animals as sacrifices to the Celtic deities. To commemorate the event, druids build huge sacred bonfires where the people gathered to burn crops and animals as sacrifices to the Celtic deities. During the celebration, the Celts wore costumes, typically consisting of animal heads and skins, and attempted to tell each other's fortunes. So when you wear a Halloween costume, you are participating in a very ancient tradition that originally involved sacrificing animals to appease pagan gods. Earlier today, the following question that was posted online really got my attention. In honor of Halloween, what is the most evil thing you've done? Why would anyone want to ask a question like that? And why would anyone want to answer? Sadly, millions of people have eagerly embraced evil, and Halloween has now become one of the most popular holidays on the entire world. And it is just before this global celebration of death that Facebook announced that it would be adopting a new name that means debt in Hebrew. No, none of this is weird at all. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.